Hello, how's it going guys? Thank you for watching for this video. I'm gonna do a keto taste test on these two products from the same company, one walnut and one pecans. This one right here is the candied walnuts and it says sweet and rich with amazing crunch. And this is the Sante candied pecans, sweet and light with a resistible crunch. So it seems like they're similar products from Sante one being pecans and the other one being walnuts and you might be thinking how can those products uh, have a candy on the name and be keto friendly but uh, if the nutritional facts are right then they're keto friendly and so before we get into them let me go over the nutritional facts so this is the walnuts and it says that it's uh, one serving is 28 grams this package right here has four servings it's 200 calories per serving 19 grams of fat five grams of carbs with two of them being fiber and three grams of protein so that's a total of three net carbs i bought both of these for 3.99 at tj maxx it says right here that the regular price is 4.99 which means i saved a dollar on each of them so if the nutritional facts are correct this is three net carbs times four 12 net carbs for the whole bag so that means that i can finish the whole bag and still be somewhat okay for the daily carb uh intake i can't normally finish a bag this size of nuts it usually takes me a couple of days unless they're super good and uh, it's good to know that i won't go over if i do finish it this one right here it says uh same 28 grams or one ounce is one serving it's uh four servings in here 200 calories 19 grams of fat six grams of carbs with one being uh fiber and three grams of protein. So that means five times four, so this is 20. So again, I don't normally finish a whole bag of nuts, but this one is uh, 20 net carbs that I'm allowed per day. This one's only 12. This one obviously looks a little bit more appetizing to me, uh, but I am willing to try these. And again, it's different products from the same company. So we're gonna get right into this. I'll start out with this one right here because it seems like it's gonna be the sweetest and just to get it out of the way. These are the pecans. I do like that it has a resealable bag, so that way I can save them for later. As I mentioned, I don't think I'll be able to finish the whole bag in one sitting. Mm, it smells really nice. It doesn't smell super sweet, but they do smell sweet. It's not like a crazy uh, smell. Okay, so here we go. Mm, nice crunch. Wow. Wow, these are really good. These are really good. They're not super sweet. They're just right, just perfectly crunchy, perfectly sweet. Really nice flavors. I really like the earthiness that you get as the aftertaste for being uh, from being pecans. Wow, these are really good. The top of this bag says, perfectly crunchy nuts for snacking and salad. So that's actually a good idea to put this on top of a salad. Like I said, it's not overly sweet, so it would go well with uh, some vegetables. Man, that crunchiness is nice. Man, I don't think I can get tired of these. It says right here, no artificial ingredients, no trans fat, no cholesterol, gluten-free, peanut-free, all natural. And the top ingredients is pecans, sugar, canola oil, and salt. So maybe the canola oil is not uh, ideal, but for the crunch, for the taste, these are definitely gonna become one of my go-tos. Uh, too bad I don't see them in stores normally. I just found them here in TJ Maxx. And, uh, you know, TJ Maxx, Ross, those guys are notorious for having snacks and then just never carrying them. I don't know what the deal is, but they're, they're not consistent with their snacks. But they are cheap, so next time I see them, at least uh, I know they're good. Okay, so those were the pecans. They're perfect. Definitely winning. These are the candied walnuts, sweet and rich with amazing crunch. Mm. Walnuts to me always smell like they're rancid, like they're old. So I don't know if these are old, old, or let's see, it says uh, best by January 20, 2020. So you still got what three months? They're probably rancid already, but I give it a, I give it a shot. This is right here, March 2020. Okay, so we'll see. But walnuts almost always uh, smell rancid for me. Okay, so here we go. Mm. You know, the crunch on these are so different. It almost seems like it's a um, hollow candy where the outside is crunchy and the inside is just 
marshmallow or something they just the way it crunches and collapses together is really nice these stay together a lot longer where these just you bite into it and it's almost like it's hollow inside yeah a little saltier it does have salt ingredients walnuts sugar canola oil salt they're a little too salty yeah these are a little too salty not as sweet they smell rancid, but they don't taste rancid, so I don't think they're bad. I mean, some pieces are just right, and some pieces are a little bit salty. So I think it's more about inconsistency, and not so much about the flavor. I don't know if uh, some pieces just kinda got dipped in the salt a little too long, but they're not too bad, though. The ones that are unsalty salty are pretty good. Really good, actually. I prefer the crunch on this one. Even though this one has a little bit more substance, it's a little huskier, and uh, and there's like a nice candy shell at the at the outside. Okay, so these are like regular M&Ms, and these are more like uh, peanut M&Ms, where it has a crunch all throughout. Uh, I prefer the pecans, both because of the flavor and the texture, the crunch and all that. Again, these have uh, consistency issues, but the flavor is not too far out. I mean, because this one has salt listed as the last ingredient as well as these. They basically have the same ingredients with one being walnuts and the other one being pecans. But um, I don't know, maybe I just got a bad piece. They're both good, but I prefer these because of the smell and the crunch. And these aren't bad. They're a close second. But if I was to buy these again, it would probably be the pecans only. I wouldn't bother with the uh, walnuts so much. And, uh, and then that's it. I mean, I hope you guys get to try these. Uh, I don't know if they have them all over the source. I'll try to find them online and put a link on the description below. Uh, but yeah, that's it. I hope you guys enjoyed this video. If you did, hit that like button. If you haven't already, please subscribe to this channel. I got a bunch of those videos coming up. Also, make sure you hit that bell so you get notified when those videos are up. And I really appreciate you guys watching. I'll see you guys in the next one. Bye.